water. It is the lifeblood of our bodies, our ecosystem, and our home amongst the stars. It is miraculously unique in that, in all the multitude of planets we can see and have cataloged, only our tiny world is just close enough to our sun for livable temperatures, but just far away enough so that our oceans don't freeze. Water is essential to everything, and its fluid dynamics dictate that it flows in the path of least resistance. Human beings have learned to harness this trait for many practical reasons and uses. From the earliest water mills that ground wheat into flour, cut timber for wood, to the newest and most sophisticated hydroelectric power plants across the globe. Hydroelectricity in the U.S. alone is projected to reach nearly 150 gigawatts of generation by 2050. But there is another essential force of nature that also flows according to the path of least resistance, electric current. Sometimes, although a rare occasion, Mother Nature decides to test the path of least resistance for both elements, drop the temperature of the continent's climate past a certain point of no return, and water turns to ice, snow, and freezing conditions which can have a devastating effect on the production of electricity. Both paths of least resistance have now coalesced into a nightmare. Such an event occurred in February 2021 with Winter Storm Uri. This historic Arctic storm plunged the United States and part of Mexico into record-breaking freezing temperatures. Almost 10 million people lost power, mostly due to a crisis in Texas. The state experienced unprecedented cold, which caused natural gas-fueled power plants to become unreliable. As demands on the grid increased as people struggled to heat their homes, Decisions were made by the controllers of the grid in that region to shed load and inadvertently shunted power to natural gas pumping facilities, essentially starving the natural gas power generators in an already highly stressed environment. This event joined the historic list of severe blackouts such as the 1965 and 2003 blackouts. Fortunately for the viewers in the audience, there is an organization that works tirelessly to study, prevent, and remediate these events and many others to ensure the reliability of the North American bulk power system. What is NERC? The North American Electric Reliability Corporation, or NERC, was created in its original inception in June of 1968. Over the decades following, NERC has evolved and reformed itself to accomplish tasks such as resolving coordination matters between the different grid regions of North America, assessing the reliability of the North American grid, and establishing and enforcing mandatory reliability standards to secure the grid from everything from solar storms to terrorism and more. On our next episode, we'll dive deeper into NERC's role in overseeing the reliability and security of the bulk power system, its unique status as an audited self-regulatory ERO, and the six regional entities it delegates authority to. 